Good evening. Um, today for our next interview um, at the SDG Action Studio, uh, we have Mr. Yannick Klimarik, the uh, Assistant Secretary General and Deputy Executive Director for Policy and Program of UN Women, and a champion, really, a male champion for change and gender equality. Um, I'm going to go straight into the questions. Um, partnerships are really critical in um, the global stride towards the SDGs. Um, what do you think will be the impact of partnerships with the private sector to achieve SDGs and particularly goal five? And what do you think these partnerships need to look like? The, um, there are different estimates in terms of the type of uh, financial flows we will need to achieve the SDGs by 2030. And the estimates uh, I've seen so far range between 2.5 trillion to 6 trillion. And the official development assistance is around 130, 140 billion uh, dollars. So we are speaking about uh, the about financial flows that can be 50 times uh, superior to uh, the type of uh, official development assistance. This type of money can come from only two sources. One is increasing the fiscal space, and the second one is aligning private investment with sustainable development. And today, the uh, most, uh, most priority investment for sustainable development can be profitable. They can provide a, a triple development dividend in terms of financial return, social return, and environmental return, provided that we put in place a conducive policy framework that reduces investment risk in, uh, in green uh, and inclusive uh, areas. And so for me, the future will be uh, the future of public-private partnership where public money will be used in order to de-risk uh, green and inclusive investment by putting in place a conducive policy environment by capacitating all the key uh, stakeholders. Absolutely. I think financing for development and financing the SDGs will be critical in our stride towards it. Um, you're a he for she champion. Could you describe uh, what an ideal he for she uh, would be in one word? If I can use two? Sure. Win-win. <laughs> uh, for me, the main attribute of a he for she champion is somebody who is convinced that uh, women empowerment is a win-win uh, option. The, uh, that is, we are not speaking about uh, redistributing uh, the, uh, the share of uh, the pie between women and men. We are speaking about expanding the, the pie. And that's, uh, we are speaking about people who are convinced that women rights are above fundamental rights and they are also solution for almost every single sustainable development solution, a option, challenge we can think, uh, we can think about. So win-win uh, will be my two words. Excellent. I think the 21st century needs to be defined by gender equality and empowerment of women, and this is exactly what we need in the future. Um, so it, it will be important to move from pledges to action and accountability. How do you think the society can hold he for she is accountable to their commitment to gender equality and uh, women's empowerment? How can we move from that one pledge to a long-term commitment from men and boys around the world? The, um how do you influence behavior in a lot of regards? The, uh, when you want somebody to change uh, one's behavior, it's very important to, uh, to, to ask this person to make a very concrete pledge. And that's the reason why uh, if the e 4 she champion are asked to, uh, to commit to something very, very concrete, because it's often the first step which is the most difficult. And uh, once you make it an habit to behave in a certain way, to do a certain thing, the, uh, the after you do not need uh, you do not need to, to make additional uh, pledges. A second thing is that uh, the first thing actually, the if, if or she champion by the time they sign they are convinced that it's a win-win. So get them to make a concrete pledge, and after all of us we uh, we respond positively to reinforcement. Reinforcement is one of uh, the most powerful and underutilized uh, instruments we have in the world to. Uh, to, to basically promote positive action. And so if it's, import, if it's possible to uh, regularly uh, communicate to the Foshi champion the difference that they are making, and that for me would be one of the challenges of the Foshi campaign, to regularly say, all of you together, 
it's what you have achieved. Keep doing it because you are making a difference. Absolutely. As a young leader myself, I think positive reaffirmation of things that are going right need to be highlighted and spotlighted so that we can achieve more of those kinds of impact and positive change. Thank you so much, Mr. Glumarik, and I hope we have an incredible next day of the EDDs with many more he for she's. You are most welcome. Thank you.